cheap steroids, online controversy, and fast-track vaccines. These are a few of the coronavirus news stories that caught our eyes this week. A new analysis provided more evidence that cheap steroids can reduce the risk of death among critically ill COVID-19 patients. Earlier in the year, several studies hinted that corticosteroids could potentially be life-saving for COVID-19 patients, specifically those in critical condition who require supplemental oxygen. But health officials needed more data from randomized clinical trials before they could recommend the drugs as the standard of care for these patients. Now, a new analysis that includes data from seven clinical trials demonstrates that steroids can reduce the risk of death for critically ill patients by about 34%, compared with only standard care. The World Health Organization now recommends that patients with severe COVID infections be treated with corticosteroids for seven to 10 days, but states that the drug should not be used for patients with mild infections. A bogus claim has been circulating on social media reporting that only 6% of the COVID-19 deaths reported in the U.S. were actually caused by the virus. This claim is flat out wrong. This claim stems from a CDC statistic published on the agency's website. The stat says that only 6% of people who have died of COVID in the U.S. had no underlying conditions, such as diabetes, and didn't experience any medical complications during treatment, such as sepsis. The other 94% of people still died of COVID-19, but experts told Live Science that their prognoses were likely worsened by their existing medical conditions. Dr. William Schaffner of the Vanderbilt University Medical Center said, the point is that those people with underlying conditions would not have died except that they were carried away by COVID. In other words, having underlying conditions makes you more likely to die from COVID-19. This trend has been clear from the start of the pandemic. FDA Commissioner Dr. Stephen Hahn said that a COVID-19 vaccine could earn emergency use authorization before critical trials to test its effectiveness are complete. Emergency use authorization, or an EUA, is not the same as full FDA approval. Rather, an EUA allows unapproved products to be used in an emergency when there are no adequate approved and available alternatives. Hahn said, that the FDA could clear certain COVID-19 vaccines for emergency use, but would likely only allow them to be used in a select group of people. However, Dr. Anthony Fauci has said that issuing an EUA too early could be dangerous. Only advanced clinical trials, known as phase three trials, can provide robust evidence that a vaccine is both safe and effective at preventing disease. Fauci has said that one of the potential dangers if you prematurely let a vaccine out is that it would make it difficult, if not impossible, for the other vaccines to enroll people in their trial. Fauci argues that no vaccine should be given an EUA without clear evidence of its safety and efficacy. Check out the links below for the full stories. For Live Science, I'm Nicoletta Lanise.